Hi guys. Um welcome to Sports News episode 20. Um so we've made it to the 20th episode of Sports News. Um so today we're we'll, be, we'll be talking about basketball, hockey, college football and the NFL playoffs. Um so today we're going to start off with basketball. Um there've there's been some games postponed due to COVID-19. Um, and some of those games are Celtics versus Bulls, which is supposed to happen today. Um, yesterday, the Mavericks versus the Pelicans was postponed. And Sunday, the Celtics versus the Heat was postponed. Um, the best team in the NBA is the Lakers at 8-3. and three. Um, That doesn't really surprise me because the Lakers are a really good team. Um... So, that's it for basketball. Um, oh, and for any of you who wanted to know, the worst team is the Detroit Pistons, and that's the same as last week, um, because they were the worst team last week, too. Um, NHL. Uh, the season starts tomorrow. Um... So, there's only five games on tomorrow, um, but most of the other teams who don't play today, uh, tomorrow, will play on Thursday. So, for example, my team, the Rangers, um, they will not play tomorrow, they will instead play Thursday. Um, so, the Penguins play the Flyers to kick off the season tomorrow at 5.30 p.m., Canadians and Maple Leafs at 7, Blackhawks and Lightning at 8, Canucks and Oilers at 10, Avalanche and Blues at 10.30. Um, so, it's going to be different. Um, I mentioned the d- different division realignment, meaning the there's certain they rearrange the divisions and how they're set up and what teams are in what divisions. Um, I went over that in a previous video. Um, but that's it for hockey. Um, I'm expecting a very exciting season. Um, so, I'm looking forward to it. Um, college football, Alabama wins the title, national championship, with a 52-24 win over Ohio State. Um, it looked competitive after the first few drives. It was Alabama scored, Ohio State scored. Alabama scored, Ohio State scored. It was like back and forth, high scoring, kind of how I expected it to be. But then it ended up being Ohio State stopped scoring, and then Alabama just kept going. Um, Nick Saban has won his uh, a record, his seventh championship, six at Alabama, one at LSU. Um... Devontae Smith, um, he's not your Heisman winner for nothing. He had 12 catches, 215 yards, and three touchdowns. And all of that was in the first half because in the beginning of the second half, he injured his hand and was not able to come back to, into the game. Um, Jalen Waddle, wide receiver, he did play. Um... I don't think he should have because, like, after his first catch of the game, which was his first play that he was actually in the game, he came limping off the field. Then the next time he came back on, he went limping off. Um, But anyway, he finished with three catches for 34 yards. Um, That's it for college football. Um, I, I expected Alabama to win the title. Um, so, that's it for college football. Now we're going to move over to the NFL. Um, the Bills hold off the Colts with a 27-24 win. Um, it's the Bills' first playoff win in 25 years, which means the last time they won a playoff game was 1995. Um, the Rams... 
beat the Seahawks 30 to 20. Um Jared Goff came in and played after um John Wofford took a hit. I think that's how you say his name. Um but the the backup, the guy who actually started the game, he took a hit to the head. Um so the officials originally threw a flag, but then they picked it up because after discussion, it was said that the hit was made with the shoulder and not the helmet. So they picked up the flag. Um and he was taken to the hospital. Um but I think he's okay. So Jared Goff did come into play. Cam Akers was extremely good. In fact, he had the best rushing performance in all of Super Wild Card Weekend. He had 28 carries for 131 yards and a touchdown. Um, Akers continues to show why he's the Rams' lead back. And going into next year, um, he should be the number one back. The Washington, um, the Bucks, the Buccaneers beat the Washington football team thirty-one twenty-three. Um, Alex Smith didn't play. Um, but I don't really think anyone expected for Washington to win, so it's kind of obvious that the Bucks won. Um. So the Ravens beat the Saints twenty to thirteen. Lamar Jackson gets his first playoff win of his career. Um, and Lamar Jackson also, wait a minute, what I said might have been wrong before. Yes, I was wrong. Lamar Jackson had the best rushing performance. He had 136 yards, Akers only had 131. But Lamar Jackson had 16 carries, 136 yards, and a touchdown. Um... So the Saints beat the Bears 21-9. Um, and the Browns beat the Steelers 48-37. I expected the Steelers to win. Um, the final score was 28. Um, the, the final score was 48-37. Um, the Browns had 28 points in the first quarter. Um, in the first snap of the game, the Steelers received a kickoff. The first snap goes over Ben Roethlisberger's head, and the Browns recover it for a touchdown. Um, and the Browns just kept going, and they eventually won the game. However, Ben Roethlisberger, he did have um, 501 passing yards. Um, he threw the ball 68 times, but only completed 47. Um, so that is a lot of yards for Roethlisberger. Um... However, he's still not able to end nearly 70 throws, passes, passing attempts. Um, that is a lot. Um, it's hard to hit even 300, and the best hit 400, and then he hit 500. Um, so, on the screen right now is the updated bracket. Um, so, I sort of had all my picks correct, so we're going to count my record again. Um, so I said Ravens over Titans, that's 1-0. Browns, I said we're going to lose, but they won, that's, um, 1-1. One one. Bills, I said we're going to win, 2-1. and one. Bucks, I said was going to win, 3-1. and one. Yeah, 3-1. and one. Hey, look at that, both five seeds won. And both six seeds won. Um, I dropped to three and two, so I finished with four and two because Saints beat the Bears, which I predicted, and Rams beat the Seahawks. I didn't think they were gonna do that. So now, looking ahead at divisional round weekend, Chiefs and Browns. I'm gonna take the Chiefs. Ravens, Bills. I'm gonna take the Bills. Um, Packers, Rams, Packers. Saints, Bucks, Saints. Um, and then my Super Bowl still goes on as Chiefs, Packers, Chiefs winning. Um, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please comment. 
Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, see so a like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. Um, thank you for watching, and goodbye.